hi everyone welcome to our channel so this is part 3 video on odata in dotnet 7 web api in this video we are going to understand count operator by default odata supports count also means along with api response the total number of records in the database will fetch as one property okay we use count so to do that first we have to register count service also here just like filter select we have already uh, added count okay that's why this should be registered here okay so let's try to fetch count value okay so here is our endpoint right normal API endpoint to apply odata query operators we can use dollar count equal to true you observe there is no additional property that displays count but I said count count also works here it is not working why because here from odata 8 onwards data filters are can be directly applied with web api routing okay so to want to get the count data you cannot use this way of four data okay so we should use old technique okay so for that let me create a new controller name it like employee odata controller okay this is my new controller the first thing we have to do is we need to re remove or disable the api routing so for that we need to comment these two attributes okay now let's implement our old code or copy the code from employee controller okay including the get method import namespaces and change the constructor or correct the constructor okay okay those are the changes we required what we did we created new and new controller and we disabled the api routing okay now now we have to use the o data entity data model okay so we can define this o data entity model in our program.cs file that is the start file right so here let's create a method okay and that method should return iedm model okay so i will name it like get edm model Okay. And let's try to import the IEDM model that comes from Microsoft.odata.edm. Okay. So now our controller returns what is the type of our controller employees, right? So we should register that employee model in this get EDM model method. To register that, I can use odata convention model builder okay so data convention data convention model builder okay that comes from microsoft that o data model builder so model builder equal to initialize O data model builder okay now model builder dot entity set so this entity set must represent our return type of our action method our action method return type is employee okay employee employee okay 
now we have to define a name for this entity set so this name must match our controller name okay excluding the controller okay that means employee o data don't forget this name we have to register here okay now what we did we register our return type and we register with a name of our controller because this name will be used as a part of a o data endpoint okay and finally return model builder dot get model okay now we have to add the o data route component okay so here just like select filter order by same way we can add add route component to to that route component we have to register our model and to that model i have to give the root prefix i will give root prefix like o data okay and get like this we have to register okay now rerun the application now i am going to access this endpoint using my o data route okay if you see swagger it will automatically add at the o data routes also okay so if i use this i should get count also here this endpoint giving the total number of counts okay and here if you observe how this url framed means o data that comes from the here that part of the string comes from here whatever the name we register and next controller endpoint employee o data that name comes from the the model name we register here okay so let's copy this url and access in the browser directly okay so to get the count here it is directly retaining the total count right along with the data if you want to get the count i can use dollar count equal to true now see in the value property i am getting my api response with total count okay so this is original old way of o data previously what we have got response is right that is combination of o data with our rest api okay so if you want to get the count also in the response you must implement this approach o data routing approach if you no need o data then is it is good to use api api routing along with o data okay and if you want you can use both also here we did same thing we used both okay so that's all about small overview on o data version 8 integrating into the dotnet 7 application thank you so much for watching this video i hope this video delivered some useful content to you all if you like the video please do support me by subscribing to my channel and also please don't forget to like and share the video soon we are going to meet with new content until then signing off